Hey guys, Eric Christensen here. Uh, Queen's with me. We're going to work on this uh, solar charger here. We've been having some trouble with the battery going dead, and the battery really should never go dead on these. So it makes you suspect the uh, controller. Um, so I'll try to show you here how we test that and put a new controller on these uh, solar chargers that we make. Alright, so it's it's really windy here. I hope you can hear this well enough. Um, so, Quinn's going to test the panel. Go up here and test the panel first, Quinn. You see where the, the, the cover's taken off, the, where the power comes out of the panel. And that usually reads oh, anywhere from 15 to 20 volts. Yeah, so here see that we've got 20 volts coming out of the panel even on this cloudy day and I've got the panel held up at this angle it still is working fine it's 20 volts but you don't want that much power going to your battery all the time because it'll boil the water out of your battery and your battery will go bad so that's why you they make these controllers they go between the bat the panel and the battery and that'll just send well if your battery was low it would probably put like your car does maybe around 14 14 and a half amps on to the battery but if your battery is pretty well maintained it will probably just put it out on 12 and a half to 13. so now Quinn's taking our voltmeter and stuck it in down there to see what's coming out of the controller that would go to the battery. Now we've got the battery taken out of here right now. So we know we've got 20.5 going into the, the controller from the solar panel. And now you can see that it looks like we've only got about six volts coming out of the controller that would try to charge the battery see so that's probably telling us that this controller is bad um, and this is a cheaper controller it's not the kind we use anymore we'll show you the ones we've switched to that we have less problem with but they're not foolproof Okay, so now we, we've brought the controller out here, hooked it up just to the panel. And you can see, well, it's saying 131.9 millivolts, but that's actually 13.19 uh, volts. And that's what it should be coming out to your battery. So now when you hook these up, you need to hook your solar panel to the controller, then the controller to the battery uh, if you don't do it in that order you run the risk of, uh, of damaging the controller now these are sun saver controllers this is a 10 amp it doesn't really matter the 10 amps are plenty big you don't need any bigger than that you can even go down to two or three amp and these are the ones they're American made they're seem to be lasting longer for us than any others, but they are more expensive. They're like 80 or $90. But <clears throat> I tell you that, you know, when they go bad and your fence is down and something gets out, that's probably not that that much. But I'll just warn you, they are more expensive. We got them off Amazon. I don't know if that's the cheapest place, but it's the easiest place to get them. So now we're gonna hook this to the battery and then hook our, our our energizer to the battery now you could also come out of the where it says load you come out with two wires and hook your energizer to the load you could do it either way but for us it seems like the simplest is just hook your energizer to the battery hook your controller to the battery and it's good to go Okay, so now we've hooked our battery in, and it's 
telling us that we got 12.5 on our battery. And so now we can hook the charger. This happens to be one of the Kid Cove chargers. It's an AC-DC. We have a few of these around. We like to use them for backups. So we're going to put the negative wire where it belongs. Putting out 7.7 .7 kilovolts on our charger to our face. So, but that's how you check the, the controllers. The controllers will go bad. We, again, we like the Sunsaver controllers, but they are more expensive. Uh, just make sure you hook it up, the panel to the controller, and then the controller to the battery in that order and then just hook your your energizer straight to the battery like I said you could hook it over here where it says load but that's just one more issue you have to deal with here you can just hook it straight to the battery so uh, hey if these quit working that's usually the controllers deal it's the controllers fault I've never had the panel go bad. Um, the batteries will go bad, but they last a long time because they they continually are charged up. And we usually use these deep cycle marine type batteries on these situations. I just like them better if they do ever go dead. You can charge them back up like this when your controller goes bad and. Uh, it doesn't damage the battery when these drain all the way like it would your, your typical car type battery. So hey, I'm going to get back out of the wind. Hope you all are having a good day.